Sounds good. All righty. Bon voyage, fellers. The maiden voyage, baby, of the, the goose. Now that Wireworks is up and running, we need a way to move the wire around when we're not shipping LTL across the country, say down to Arkansas or something. So anyway, we bought a 30 foot gooseneck trailer. Now this trailer is a trailer of multi-purposes. Not only does it transport chain link wire around the Midwest, it also can transport about 1,100 foot of temporary panels down to Branson. Family road trip. All right, so it is Tuesday morning. We are headed down to Branson with about a thousand foot of temporary panels. Uh, it's supposed to get a little cold here in a couple of days. I think like four for a high, negative five or six for a low. So we decided today's a pretty good day to go do panels. It's about an hour away down in Branson. Now with this being a new trailer and all new straps, because we didn't want to rob straps from other trucks and put them on this truck, everything's still a bit new. And we had a bit of a snafu with the straps on the side of the interstate, of course. This one's good now. thinking two of you pull off panels while one of you puts feet down and we just kind of build it as we go not we're not gonna put in T posts and wire until the end but we're gonna set them up in feet and then we can have it so then once that's done we can have two groups start at either end wrap and meet in the middle we'll have to drive some T posts stuff like that at the end but I think we just I think we put up panels and feet for the beginning Let's start with the panels on the back because those seem to be the slipperiest. Leave the ones on top strapped down, on front strapped down until we're ready for them, just so they don't slip slide around. The wisdom for me? Uh, not right now. Words of wisdom with Chase. All right, so we made it Branson safe and sound. No lost panels or anything. Now this job is a bit unique it's pretty special in that we can drive around the entire job site we can get this done a lot faster than if we were to have to park the trailer and move them all around the job site by hand Good job. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, just like that, a couple hours, we got about 1,100 feet of temporary fence put up. Not bad. The only bad thing is we had just as much time driving here and back as we did setting the panels up. So all that occurred on Tuesday. Now, fast forward to Thursday, we got some interesting weather that I think a lot in the Midwest also participated in. So we took this as an opportunity to try weaving a new type of wire. If you've watched the show, you've seen us weave galvanized wire. We're getting fairly good at it, if we don't say so ourselves. But we hadn't tried black yet. So this time around, we're gonna try some black extruded and bonded, which I'll get into the difference between extruded and extruded and bonded in the video. Needless to say, we had a pretty good time. It is really cold outside, so. It's so cold, not many people are working today, but Joe and Bryce and Eric, I believe, are over at Wireworks. So I'm gonna go over there, see what they're doing. Let's hit it. So as you can see, it's not the nicest out here. All the cars are going really slow. It's really slick, so it's probably best to have called it off. Off to Wireworks we go. 
So I got to work an hour and a half ago and there's nothing on the roads and now they're starting to get slightly covered. It's still not, I'm not sliding too much yet, but it's definitely gonna get bad. You made it, the wire works. We got the black. Common is two inch, so we got two, two and a quarter, and then two, two and a half. So I'd say red would be the one. What are you doing, Bryce? I'm putting this black wire through the killer rollers to go into Windy. So right now, Bryce is switching all the worm drives and tooling over to a polished set. We're still doing two inch mesh, but we're switching to a polished set because we're running the black coated wire through. It's important that it's polished so it doesn't nick it or scrape it as it's working its way through the drive. Um, now, we're gonna be using extruded and bonded wire, which will probably run a little bit nicer than regular extruded wire. To talk about the differences, let's actually uh, head over to the other side of the shop and break it down a little bit more. All right, so what we have here is a piece of extruded and bonded wire, black coated, 11 gauge core, eight gauge finish to be specific. The other is just regular extruded wire that we had uh, picked up from a national wholesaler. So here's the thing. So say this wire gets nicked for whatever reason, weed eater, whatever. This coating peels right off. I mean, just there's nothing, to use their words, there's nothing bonding this coating to this wire. So if you get a break in the twist or just any sort of scuff, it'll peel right off. Now, with the extruded bonded, again, you get a nick in it. You've really got to try it. Try to peel this off and you can kind of see it's you can see the glue in there. So that's the process, right? Is is this strand, both the same strand, gets run through a machine. Well, not the same strand, they're from different manufacturers, but you get it. So they run through the machine. This strand actually got an adhesive, a glue applied to it before the PVC was applied, so that it's bonded to this. So where this just peels off easily you've really got to work at it i'm gonna try so if you really work at it you can peel it off but like i say that bonding agent that glue really helps keep it on the wire now when we're talking about price the price is relatively it's about a penny per square foot difference between extruded and extruded bonded it's kind of a no-brainer on our end to run extruded bonded because if this wire gets nicked in the machine you could end up peeling off quite a bit of this coating, whereas the bonded obviously helps helps it keep on the uh, on the strand. It keeps that from happening, getting gummed up in the system. It's also a better product for the end consumer, your clients and customers. They're getting a better product. Like I said, if they nick it with the weed eater, it's not going to peel off like extruded could. Uh, now, if we're talking about ASTM, we're talking about a class one wire versus a class two A wire. Now there's also a class two B wire, which is fused and bonded, different process. We actually don't have any on hand to go over with, but this in a two B in a fused and bonded wire, you wouldn't be able to peel this off at all. You would literally have to whittle off all of it because it is literally fused to the, the core, to the uh, galvanized strands. And that's another interesting point here too, is both of these are galvanized cores. Typically, no matter whether you're buying extruded or extruded bonded, class one versus class two A, uh, they're gonna have a galvanized core. So if it does get a nick, we're still not gonna see rust here. Like at the ends where you see cuts, you won't see rust there. But yeah, kind of interesting look in the difference between extruded and extruded bonded. Enter code hardware at the link below for your chance to win an Amazon gift card. Now, we thought we had the hang of wire weaving. We were pretty decent at galvanized. And then we got humbled by this black extruded and bonded. It took a bit longer than we expected it to before we were fully up and running. Uh, 20 problems later. Ooh. See how much it snowed. Oh wow, it snowed a lot. So the entire day went by and we weren't able to run wire. In fact, we also weren't able to run wire the next day we finally started running wire on the third day, about halfway through the third day, which technically we're still under par on that. The first time we switched over from say a six foot galvanized to seven foot galvanized, it took us about three days to handle that changeover. 
We're about two and a half days on the changeover to black, so I think we're still okay. And that's a ramp. Not the most successful day we've had, but sometimes it's like that. So we all stayed warm though, everyone's safe. And yeah, that's another day here at Ozark Fence.